Hey guys, this is your weekly reading for November 15th through the 21st, Monday to Sunday. So Monday kind of looks like it could be a little bit of an emotional day. You might have to make a choice that day or there's something you just don't want to hear. See that guy is holding his ears and just doesn't want to, usually the two of swords, I think he has a blindfold on, but this one he's holding his ears and has his eyes closed. So with that queen of cups there in the mix of that day, it's, it just looks emotional or it has something to do with love, maybe a choice in love. And then it's almost like I feel like whatever happens Monday is going to prompt what's going to happen on uh, Tuesday, which is here, the six of swords and the three of wands. So, so that almost looks like travel, going somewhere, traveling or planning a trip. It could be even planning a business trip because sometimes the three of wands is traveling for business or overseas travel. Uh, yeah, it looks like faraway destinations. And weird that on Wednesday, the star and death came out together like that. Because after in the in the cards, like the lineup of them, I think the star... Oh, no, the star comes after the tower. Well, anyway, Wednesday here. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of the end of something. But, you know, with that star, it was like meant to be. Help is arriving, you know, the fairy godmother is looking over you in this time of death <laughs> and but anyway we move in to thursday with the nine of cups and the high priestess so nine of cups is you know basically just a happy good time i mean the nine of cups is wish fulfillment you have the star and the nine of cups on wednesday and thursday the high priestess is very mysterious you know she's very <clears throat> very spiritual too maybe it's just a i feel like wednesday thursday friday saturday even sunday i feel like the rest of the week like after after monday it just takes off and there's some kind of spiritual journey maybe you're on i mean and friday with the hair font and the two of cups mixed up like that that's love that's commitment love thinking about marriage the three of cups i see the three of cups is kind of like a marriage card and the ten of cups you know when I read the cards, I just think of the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Cups basically as just simply togetherness with your partner, a loved one, or family and friends. Three of Cups is more like a family, friends, and, you know, like little get-togethers and parties and stuff. But, um, I don't know, sometimes to me, I'm like, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, it's all basically the same thing. Happiness, togetherness, partnership. But on Saturday, since that Eight of Cups is in the middle of those two Positive Cups cards here, it's like maybe um, maybe you've recently decided to end something with one person and go to another. And now, maybe that's what that Nine of Cups and the Star is. Maybe this week is all about you finally get your wish fulfillment. Maybe if there was a third party, you're finally getting what you deserve here. Um, a Sunday, we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Maybe they're with the two of pentacles sometimes that's juggling two things it could just be like overwork stress you have to make a decision or um two of pentacles is a lot going on so this queen of swords is very serious and of course the king of cups is emotional and kind of laid back and i don't know what to think about that sunday well, there's two people here there's a masculine and feminine that let me draw one more card for that pile The Five of Wands. Okay, well, there could be some tense, a, a little bit of competition, some, yeah, there's something going on Sunday that I feel like is a serious tone to Sunday. Who have I read for last? Was it Sagittarius? Anyway, I said their Sunday was more of a serious tone on that day. If you know any Sagittarius is, I think it was Sagittarius. Uh, let's see. What are your best days here? It, I mean, it looks pretty good, actually. It looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday are your best days. I think your best days in love and togetherness and with friends and family and wish fulfillment and all that. And maybe some of you are traveling starting on Tuesday. You're going on a trip or going somewhere. So, Aquarius, that's your reading for November 15th to the 21st, and I'll see you next time.